Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. So today we are doing another review. It is probably the last, since this is getting towards November, this is probably the last new product review I'll be doing of the year. But this is a brand that I purchased last Black Friday. So I am finally getting around to it and I have been looking forward to trying these actually. This brand has always intrigued me, I think because of I think their packaging and just the colors of the product, this will make more sense as you see it. Actually, you already know. My thumbnails are no surprise usually, but we are doing Allocate Naturals today. So my wash day products are the, let's see, it's the, let me put them in order here. It's the Caribbean Coconut Milk Shampoo and then the Caribbean Coconut Milk Conditioner. So I have already applied these to my hair. I have a few clips that and we'll go over the specs of these and then we'll meet back and I'll give you my thoughts on them. The Caribbean Coconut Milk Shampoo is our go-to shampoo for all hair types and is formulated with quality ingredients to properly cleanse your hair without drying it out. This ensures that your hair gets and retains the moisture that it so desperately needs for optimal health, strength, and shine. The coconut oil was specifically included to nourish dry and damaged hair with its natural fast fatty acids that penetrate the hair shaft to replenish moisture from root to tip. Coconut milk was then included to help slow down hair loss and add a special touch of softness that results with longer, healthier hair. The directions say to apply to the scalp of wet hair and massage in gently. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. Repeat if desired. Avoid aggressive lathering as this causes excess fr friction, which leads to breakage. And for best results, follow up with the Caribbean Coconut Milk Conditioner. The award-winning coconut milk conditioner is famous for its ability to moisturize dry and damaged hair caused by heat, chemicals, environment, or genetics. It is uniquely formulated to treat damage and dryness with a powerful cocktail of specific quality ingredients, including coconut oil, coconut milk, sage, and nettle. Coconut oil in particular was chosen for its natural fatty acids, which penetrate the hair shaft to replenish moisture from root to tip. Coconut milk was then added to help slow down hair loss and add a special touch of softness that cannot be replicated with synthetic ingredients. The directions say that after shampooing your hair, apply the conditioner thoroughly to wet hair. Be sure to focus on the ends and gently massage into scalp and hair, then rinse well. For best results, leave them for three to five minutes before rinsing out. Okay, so my thoughts on these two products. This shampoo is a gentle daily go-to shampoo, as they have said. This is what I would consider a low poo. In the shower scene, I could feel the suds in there. It felt like they were bigger than what they were. But when I looked in the mirror and looked in my camera, I could tell that they were very tiny. And But they worked through my hair very well. I felt like I could get the lather through very easily. And I do like the applicator here. It does make applying the product pretty easy to get where you need it and everything like that. I think you could see the suds a little bit more when I was using like my little scalp scrubber and getting some of the underneath areas. But anyways, this is a good gentle daily shampoo. I don't wash daily, but you could use it daily. I feel like, and your hair wouldn't be stripped at all. It does have a tendency to separate. I noticed this when I first got the product and some of you had commented and said, it's okay, just shake it up. I kind of assumed that's what, would, what I would do, what I should do. And it does like, this has stayed mixed now for a while. Now, if I would let this settle for a couple days, you would notice more clearness on the bottom, more of like the, I'm guessing more the natural ingredients on the bottom. But I do find this interesting, like their ingredients list is, let me see if I can find it here. Okay, the ingredients list for the wash day products are a little bit longer, I guess, than some of the others. I noticed when we get into the stylers, those some of those ingredients lists are pretty simple. So let's move on to the conditioner now at this point. This conditioner is one of those that sometimes, like I've used a fair amount of it. I've used this three times and it's a little bit more than halfway gone. But this conditioner, when you apply it, you wonder if it's doing anything. And I don't feel personally like it's the best for detangling because you wonder if it's doing anything. It feels like it's just absorbed into your hair which is a good thing you want it to absorb into your hair. You don't want it just sitting on top, but because it doesn't have that extra slip, I feel like it doesn't make for the best detangling in my personal opinion. But then again, I'm not the best detangler in the shower. I do a finger detangle and I'm not most thorough at that or anything like that. But when you rinse this out, you do feel the moisture in your hair. Now, for some reason, this time when I shampooed and conditioned my hair, 
I have always, the other two times that I've used this, felt like my hair came out very soft and ready to go for the day, um, for the styling and everything like that, and didn't have a problem. But for some reason, when I applied these this time, I just felt like my hair needed some extra moisture. So I did go in with the deep conditioner as well. But wait and see, that will be in another video coming up next week. And anyways, this is a really good conditioner in the fact that it does moisturize your hair generally. This was the one time that I had where I felt like it just needed a little extra boost, but it doesn't do the best detangling for me. So let's go in now to the next product that we are going to be applying here, the Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. I'm going to give you the specs on this. I'm going to start applying it and then give you my thoughts as we continue. Our lemongrass leave-in conditioner is a best-selling and award-winning leave-in. It is for all hair types. Having quality leave-in conditioner provides moisture, slip, and conditioning properties that will assist with detangling. It contains lemongrass oil, which helps to strengthen hair follicles, promote healthy hair growth, reduce hair shedding, soothe dry hair and itchy scalp, and add shine for every strand. Some extra key benefits are it provides extra moisture, definition, and overall softer, shinier strands. can be used daily as a as a detangler, is great for a lightweight styler, for all hair types and textures, even locks, and it has an easy to use spray nozzle. The directions say that after washing your hair, spray on damp hair and saturate each strand from root to tip. Style as desired. It can also be used as a daily moisturizing spray by applying to dry hair. All right, this leave-in conditioner has a great mister to it. it. It has a wide range, very fine mist. I love that. And so I have sprayed this all over my hair. I did focus a lot of it on my back crown area. And I'm just going to work on brushing this through just to further help distribute this to all areas, to all strands. I do find the scent on this to be very pleasant. It smells like a lemongrass, so a slight lemon scent, but also green earthy i don't know how best to describe it i've said before i'm terrible at describing scents i did forget to mention that the the shampoo and the conditioner have a very coconut smelling scent which is no surprise i think it's in the title so those to me kind of remind me of like the as i am co-wash the original one and i do really like that now at this point i have my hair split in half and i am just going to go around and brush style this just defining my curls using my denman brush and rotating like this, shaking the curl clumps out a little bit, and I'm just going to go through each half of my hair doing this. I am going to skip ahead through this. I've done this plenty of times. And then I will meet back when I am finished and we'll go on to the stylers. Okay, I have finished brush styling and I will say a few more notes about this leave-in conditioner while I'm re-wetting my hair a little bit. Because this is a leave-in conditioner and not a curl cream, it doesn't have those clumping properties like a curl cream oftentimes does have. Now, I have used their Wake Up Refresh Spray one time before, but I felt like as a product underneath my other stylers, these other two stylers in particular, it was just too much. So I opted for this lemongrass leave-in. This is a very lightweight leave-in conditioner. I don't feel like even if you have fine curls that this will weigh your hair down. It could be a very good option. Of course, be careful with what you're pairing it with because now we are moving on to the stylers. We are doing a split style test today and I have with me the aloe berry styling gel and also the creme brulee curling delight. So I guess I'll just put them in order here like you see it the creme brulee on my right side, the aloe berry on my left. I have mixed and matched these before in testing these products. This is like third or fourth time that I've used them. And so we're going to start out first with the aloe berry and let's get into the specs of this product and I will start applying it and give you my thoughts. The aloe berry styling gel contains a unique blend of quality ingredients to offer both styling versatility and moisture in a single styling product. With the aloe berry styling gel, you now have the freedom to style your hair without it drying, flaking, or feeling sticky. The alcohol-free tropical scented formula includes aloe vera infused with berries, botanicals, and even essential oils to further hydrate the hair. For a medium to light hold, there is no better styling gel than the aloe berry. By the way, did we mention, it smells absolutely amazing. The directions say that it can be applied to wet or dry hair. Apply a nickel-sized amount at a time to your hair. 
It's recommended to let your hair air dry, but you can also blow dry and style hair as desired. Okay, this aloe berry is, both of these in my opinion, are more of like a cream gel type of mixture. They're very moisturizing, the aloe berry, definitely very moisturizing. It spreads well throughout my hair. I didn't have any trouble distributing it, so that was really nice. I went in with that finger fold that you saw, and I think that's going to be enough for me. I remember in the past that I can go pretty heavy hand handed with this, and for that being half my hair, I feel like that was a pretty hefty amount. I think I've gone in with a little bit more than that before in the past. As I said, this is how much I've used up now. So let's go into the other side with the creme brulee and we'll get into a little bit more detail between the two of these. The award-winning creme brulee gives you curls and more curls that stay defined for days. Enhance your natural curl pattern and make them pop with this unbeatable combination of premium aloe vera, agave nectar, and argan oil that moisturizes your hair and soothes the cuticles with greatly enhanced sheen. The resulting elongation and reduced frizz creates the polished look you know and love, all wrapped up in the fresh pineapple aroma that's just delicious. Perfect for wash and goes for kinky and curly hair textures. Never again leave your hair dry, crunchy, sticky, or greasy with lower quality alternatives. The directions say to, pl to apply to freshly washed hair, section hair into four to six sections, and make a small amount of the creme brulee and apply to your hair row by row, raking or shingling the product through your hair from root to tip. Start from the back sections and move to the front. Let hair air dry or you can sit under a dryer or use a diffuser. You shouldn't need to reapply the product until the next wash day. For re best results, it's recommended to use a lemongrass leave-in conditioner first on wet hair. For kinky textures, you can apply the product in smaller sections to ensure coverage. So this is how much I ended up using. I think you saw in that video clip there that I did kind of, my first finger full, I went back and took a little bit more back off and put it back in the container. But anyways, I tried to go in with about equal amounts on each side. This creme brulee, by the way, I guess it has a light pineapple scent. It smells like a very sweetened pineapple, like not a natural pineapple scent. And then the aloe berry smells very berry berry like. It does smell more like a candy berry in that sense than actual berries, but I prefer the aloe berry scent in general. Now, as I said, these are both very moisturizing. I do feel like they have helped clump my curls a bit, whereas the leave-in, I didn't really feel like did that. Now, because I am testing two different sides, two different products on each, or a product on each side, let me get that straight. Um, I am not going to flip upside down and scrunch like I normally would prefer to do. I am not going to use my wet plopping at all because I just feel like that might mix things up a little bit. I want to keep this test between these two as, as unhindered or as unmixed as possible. So I'm going to go diffuse at this point and I will come back and I'll show you my final results. Okay, girlfriends, we are back with my hair fully styled and completely dry. Let me just say that every time that I have diffused with these, that they have dried about the same as far as in timing. This time, however, the creme brulee side took just a little bit longer to dry. They really didn't take long at all. I think I went in with less product this time than I have in the past, which helped the drying process. And I'm guessing I might have gone in with a little bit more of the creme brulee than I did the aloe berry, just based on how my drying differed this time compared to previous. But anyways, let's look at the aloe berry side here. This is what the curls are looking like. Got one that's kind of a big chunk here. I'm going to separate a little bit. And then the creme brulee. So my thoughts on these, by the way, I mentioned earlier in the video how these stylers had a very short ingredients list and they do. While it is very hard to read on these specific containers, I did look up the ingredients and everything like that. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but I do know that comparing to a lot of other styler ingredients lists, these are relatively short. I have here on my notes that the aloe berry contains, uh, their call out ingredients are aloe vera, argan oil, and agave nectar. Then the call out ingredients for the creme brulee are aloe vera once again, sweet almond oil, and avocado oil. 
I do feel like both of these products are a medium to light hold. Actually, I'm, I'm going to say they're more light hold. And I do feel like they both have a little bit more frizz than I personally care for. It's not a terrible amount, but a little bit more frizz. But in the same sense, they do have some decent definition. I have had more defined curls in the past. And as a matter of fact, I've always liked my aloe berry side better in the past, but today I'm not really feeling that. Today I feel like they're pretty, pretty even as far as what my results are looking like. So let's wait till day two, see if anything changes or how one holds up better than the other and we'll draw more conclusions then at that time. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, curl friends, we are back for day two hair using Alicay Naturals to wash and style with. And let's see, I'll give you a close up of what the curls are looking like. This is the aloe berry side. I see some frizz definitely in here, some undefined pieces, but also some defined pieces. Like right in front, it looks, looks pretty good. But hidden underneath, kind of a different story somewhat. And this is the creme brulee side. I feel like a similar story, you know, there's a lot of frizzy undefined bits, but there's also some really good looking parts here. So I'm still not noticing too much of a difference. I do think this time when I styled with these products, I do feel like I probably went in with less product than I have before. Um, just kind of looking in hindsight. And I do feel like Overall, I've liked a little bit better how the aloe berry side just lays right in this region. I think in the creme brulee, it just tends to be a little bit more flat, not a big difference, hardly anything to notice. Um, otherwise, I would say these styles seem pretty much almost identical. You know, let me turn around and just show you the back. I think the sides and the front tend to look the best today, even probably yesterday but let me just kind of gather my hair in the back and let you see that. Now for my thoughts on these products, this brand unfortunately hasn't been a standout brand to me. I think they're really good for a lot of people. Probably the highlighting products in this are, or my favorite products are the wash day ones, the shampoo, the conditioner and the probably the aloe berry because of my experience using it in the past that has been my favorite of the two stylers in the past however like i said today they look pretty similar they are about mid-range i feel like in price i don't have the exact prices off the top of my head i think i will have included them in the clips earlier and they're not easily available to me i have to order online where i'm at so those make all those factors come into play that I probably won't be repurchasing this brand. I hate to say it, I love, I love how colorful and creative they are with their packaging, with their naming and things like that. But I just, I, they aren't highlight products for me or products that I feel like are going to fit in best with my hair needs in the future. So I do think I can work these gels. Like I've said, I feel like they're almost like cream gels. I feel like I can work these in maybe with a stronger hold styler on top. I do feel like that would be a possibility. And also I'd like to experiment with brush styling these in my hair. I don't know why I haven't tried that earlier before this video, but it just kind of came to me the other day. I do think these products would be really good for some people. If you like that softer look, I know there are a lot of people out there that really love to rock with softer styling products. That might be for you. I know they do have a stronger hold gel. It's like the lemongrass. I don't, I don't know the exact title of it, but it's in the lemongrass line. And I've heard that that is a very strong gel. Why I didn't pick that up, I don't know. I was just trying to be reasonable with how many products I picked up and with them being travel sizes and everything. So I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point, I guess, about that. But um, that could be an option too. I don't I don't know how well it works. I've just heard that it is a stronger hold gel. I, I I don't know if I've said this already. I do want to try pairing this with a stronger hold gel. I think I've said that. Anyways, moving on. These products also might do well if you have maybe thicker, coarser, or drier hair. Hair that just has different needs than my hair has. They have a lot of products I feel would care to more coarse or dry hair. And feel free to check them out. 
don't let my opinion necessarily steer you away. If you have hair similar to mine though, take it into consideration. Nothing was bad, I just don't feel like it worked the best for what I prefer in wash day lineup. And that is all I have for you folks. Thank you for sticking around. If you have stuck around till now and you enjoy this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that like, it really helps me out. Please consider subscribing. That also helps me out and sharing this with a friend maybe. I do have the products linked below as well if you are interested in them. And then I guess until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.